Hi, Steve here from Steve's Internet Guide. And in this video, we're going to look at how you send and receive uh, JSON data using the Python uh, MQTT client. Now, what is JSON? Well, the wiki definition is JSON, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation, is a file format that uses uh, text to transmit data objects consisting of attribute value pairs or key value pairs. And JSON has become a very common way of packaging data for sending between systems. And it's important to realize that JSON isn't restricted to JavaScript. It started life in JavaScript, but it's not restricted to JavaScript because it's actually a file format. And we're going to be using uh, Python uh, in this video uh, along with MQTT. And we're going to be transmitting data between a, a Python client and a, a Mosquito broker or an MQTT broker uh, in JSON format. Now, the reason it's become so popular is because it's it's very very easy to take an object in a in one la in a language in a, in a in a program and transmit it to another system and read it back into the program uh, as a data object. And what we're going to be doing here is we, we're going to be taking a dictionary, and this is the dictionary here. And we're going to take the dictionary, we're then going to encode the dictionary as a JSON string, and this is the command, the Python command we're going to use to do it. Then we're going to send it across the network using MQTT, and at the receiver we're going to decode the uh, string, and this is the, again the command we use to do it here, very simple. And this decodes it straight back into a dictionary, so there we finish it with our dictionary here on, on the other system created a demo script and we're going to actually look at this uh, the way it works in uh, in real life. Okay this is our script and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be transmitting this dictionary here uh, across the network. We're going to send it to the broker and we're going to receive it back again. We import JSON to use it and we import the MQTT client. The script consists of two parts. The first part we basically do that Internally, we do we we create a JSON object and we um, decode the JSON object. We don't send it anywhere. We just do it on the on the computer. And then the second part of it, we actually do the same thing, but this time we send it across the network and we receive it back from the the network uh, and we put it back into a dictionary. And we got lots of print statements here that tells you the the progress. So print the dictionary, this, so it just gives you the dictionary, then we're going to say what type it is, we should say it's a dictionary, and then we're just going to print part of the dictionary, uh, broker address uh, 1, which is this address here, and then we're going to convert it, this is the important bit now, we're going to convert it to JSON format there, and we're going to print out the type, so we should see that it's a string, and then we're going to print out the data so we should see what it looks like and then we're going to go back on the receive side and we're just going to make data in equal to data out we just simulate we've we've sent it and then we're going to do the same thing we're going to print out the type we're going to print out the data and then here we convert the data from json back into an object and it goes straight into a dictionary brokers in and then we're going to print out the type so we should see again it's a dictionary and then we're going to print out the address of one of the elements in that dictionary just like we would do in a, in a standard dictionary and then we're going to pause and to go into the the next part of the script and the next part of the script does basically the same thing um, it converts the the dictionary into uh, a JSON string and as we've already done that, we don't need to repeat it. We're just going to take the the data out there, and we're going to send it using MQTT. So if we go further down here, you can see we connect to the broker. And we publish the data out. Now this is already JSON encoded because we encoded it earlier on. And then we've actually subscribed to the topic that we're publishing on. So there's the subscribe there. So we should receive it. And there's our own message callback that takes the message. And you can see here 
we're decoding it, um, converting it from JSON straight into a dictionary. And again, we're going to print out the type, so we should see we received a dictionary. And we're going to again print out the broker to address, um, which is that one there just to prove that we've got a dictionary back. So let's run the script and see what happens. Okay, that went very quick. There's a dictionary, printed out our dictionary. Now broker out is a dictionary, printed out the element, first element, which is that one there. We converted it to JSON, and now we've got a string. Now, this is what the data out looks like. It looks very similar to the dictionary. And now we go on to the receiving side. Receive it. We've got a string. The JSON comes in as a string. We convert it into a dictionary using the JSON uh, command. And you can see here when we print out brokers in is a dictionary. And again, we print out one of the elements, broker to address. Now, we're ready to continue. This time, we're going to do what we're going to do is actually send the data to the broker and we're going to receive the data back. So let's run it. OK, we connect to the broker. Then we send our data. And now we received our data and it's actually as a string. And you can see what it looks like here. There's the data received. Now we convert it from JSON to the object. And what type of object is it? Well, it's a dictionary. And now we print out the elements broker to address there. Now, you may have noticed that there's some extra print statements in here. I did actually go back and modify the, the script because there weren't enough print statements in there to record the progress of the sent and received messages. So I just went back and I put them in here for a few more print statements in here now the script is actually on, is on the downloads page so if you want to uh, use this script you're more than welcome to do so you can get it from the downloads page and there'll be a link um, below the video okay so that's how to send and receive JSON data using the Python uh, MQTT client uh, just to finish off um, is a resource that you might find useful uh, if you want to learn more about JSON, it's uh, the W3Schools uh, tutorial, Introduction to JSON, and here is the URL here. Now, if you like the video, then use the like button below. If you've got any comments on the video, then uh, use the comment button below. And if you'd like to receive notification of new videos, then you can subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you go over to the website, I do publish uh, an occasional newsletter, which you may be interested in signing up for and the form is over on the on the website okay uh, that's the end of this video until next time uh, bye